pushing so hard. I was sweating, pouring sweat and shaking and nothing was coming out of the place that I needed it to. Like, oh my God. Some of you guys are just mean, just awful. If you guys don't already know me, hi, my name is Christina. Whenever I was 21, I was sentenced to three years prison in the state of Florida. So everything I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is from my own personal experience and my own personal opinion. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. Y'all came hard for me in these um, this or that or would you rather. And um, reading some of these gave me like ugh, a punch in the gut. Some of these literally make me feel like I'm going to have a panic attack even having to think about some of these options. Y'all, Y'all never spare me. With the Q&As, with the anythings, y'all never spare me. <laughs> but it's all good. It should be fun for y'all, painful for me. I do want to say before we get into this, if you don't already know me, hi, my name is Christina. I do have a second channel, Casually Christina. We do things way more casually over there. And I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up. Over there, I do like more personal story times, a little bit wilder story times. We go live. It's a good time if you're 18 and up and you'd like to join. We also have a podcast as well as I have an Instagram and all of those are always linked down in the description box if you want to come and check me out. Y'all, what is up with this hair today? It's just like, can you just like, I mean, literally just chill. Earlier today, I had my straightening iron on in the bathroom, right? My husband always gets mad at me. He's like, turn the straightening iron off and I always leave it on the counter. Anybody else accidentally leave it on often? Anyways, so he's like, why do you leave this on? I was like, I'm about to do my hair. And I come in there and I hold it. And he's like, you're going to do your hair? Really? Like, what do you like? I, I straighten my bangs, you guys, and my little baby hair. So don't judge. I straighten my hair too, okay? <laughs> All right. There was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, before we get it, are we just going to sit here and pretend like it's not fall? 2020 has been a rough ride. Okay, it's been a rough ride. The air's getting cooler here down in the south. Okay, I know some of y'all up north are like, it's been cool. It's getting cooler down here. The leaves are starting to change. Let's enjoy it. Let's. <sighs> Nothing is going to ruin this for us. Okay. We're about to get into the first one. Now, this is a would you rather. A lot of people have requested that I do this. And I took your would you rathers over on my Instagram. That's why you should be following me on my Instagram. If you're not, I can see you. Follow me. Come on over. It's a good time. Um, and so we're going to start off with this. All right, first one. Would you rather. I'm just going to say them like this. I'm not going to say would you rather every time, okay? But would you rather eat the Christmas food every day or the canteen food every day. We're talking about prison. This is a prison, would you rather? The prison Christmas food or the canteen food every day? Mm, I guess canteen food because then I can make it in a bunch of different things. The, prison, the Christmas food is good comparing. Okay, now the Christmas food in there, if, you, if that's what your mama made on Christmas Day, some of y'all would be looking like, you know, like excuse me, like, what is this? But for us, it was good because it's all we had. But I guess canteen, although canteen ain't nothing but a bunch of junk, okay? A bunch of junk, a bunch of Snickers and cookies and shebangs and, you know, that type of thing. Sodas and ice creams and, you know, the ice creams on a stick type of thing, you know, that you can buy. All right. Solitary confinement for 10 years or the death sentence? I love you, by the way. No, you don't. You don't love me. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. I love you too, baby girl. But um, think about this. Have you watched my videos? Solitary confinement for 10 years or the death sentence. I can't like... You guys, 
my mind wants to start going, okay, well, maybe the solitary confinement that they have in some of the other prisons where they get like TVs and like, but I always just think about my kids, dude. Like, I can't, I guess solitary confinement for, I don't know. Like, ugh. if I didn't have kids, I'd say, go on, give me the death sentence because I'm going to heaven, baby. I'm going to be up in there and, you know, whatever. But my baby's like, I don't know. Do I need to be here? Am I taking God into my own hands? Like, ah! too many decisions. I, Y'all know I'm a Libra. I can't. I can't. I can't make a decision. Ah! All right. Not have soap or not have toilet paper. Baby toilet paper. I don't need no toilet paper then because I'll use the soap to clean myself. Are y'all getting a visual? Gross. Okay. Whatever. You asked. I'm going to make a decision on this one. But I need my soap, baby. I got to be smelling good now. And it needs to be the soap that I choose. Okay, we're going to compromise on this. I need some good soap, okay? But definitely soap because you can use other things for toilet paper if you had to. Don't act like some of y'all ain't never used a sock. Don't. <laughs> y'all better stop. Stop it. You better stop. Some of us grew up poor. Okay? Some of us then had some old t-shirts ripped into many different pieces and God, y'all, okay, y'all gonna act like I'm the only one? Oh, it's okay. I ain't afraid to admit it, baby. I started from the bottom, 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 for real, okay? Soap. <laughs> get rid of your hair or get rid of all your makeup. All my makeup can go, okay? But I mean, you know, realistically, I mean, I think I would definitely rather keep my hair Especially if you think about get rid of your hair. You talking about eyebrows too? If I, you know, I mean, I know that there's people that lose their hair for different things. And, you know, it's, it's fine. But if I had a choice, it would be the makeup. Baby, I can do without the makeup. I like wearing makeup, but I can do without it. Have a celly or have a cell to yourself. Now, this is a really hard one because... It depends, okay, what are we talking about? Are we talking about confinement or are we talking about GP, general population? Because there are some jails and prisons that have cells, right, that they go into at nighttime to sleep in. And if that if it was GP, I'd rather be in a cell all by myself because then I could like go out in the day room or go out, out on the yard or however that prison works it and then sleep and be in my own little area by myself at nighttime. But being in solitary confinement, then it's tricky too because I think I would rather have a celly in there, but somebody that, you know, I can get along with. It ain't got to be my best friend, it ain't, but just somebody to have some sort of distraction. Although, something I've never told y'all about. Should I tell y'all now or should I tell y'all later? I'm going to tell y'all another time. about things that go down when you're in a cell all by yourself with a person. Okay, next question. Be in the YO program, which is the Youthful Offender program. You guys watch any of my videos, you should know. If not, then you guys go check it out. But anyways, be in the YO program for one year or be homeless for 10 years. Uh, be, YO, be in the YO program for one year. I'd go in there, if I had to go in there now, I'd be in there trying to mommy everybody, just like I was on Spy Games. <laughs> When I did Spy Games for Bravo, if you guys watch that, like I was like, I'm just, that's my personality anyways. Like I'm like a mommy type of person. I don't know, whatever. But I'd be in there just trying to teach all little babies in there, you know, trying to, you know, I'd be trying to help them from the inside out. Like, so I would totally do that now. It would suck being away from my kids. But if I had to do that or, or be homeless for 10 years, the, I mean, you know. Yeah, and I know that you guys have asked me before, would you rather be homeless or in prison? Well, and I'd say I'd rather be homeless, but you're saying I got to be homeless for 10 years. Okay, 10? That's a long time. We're talking about I'm going to be upper in my 40s. Like, we're gonna be, I'm, I'm going to be 46. I'm going to be almost 50 before I... Yeah, I'd rather... I'd go in there with the babies. Someone you love go to prison or you go back to prison. Now, see, this could be a trick question, okay? See, I'm a deep thinker. I can't just answer these just, you know, this or that. I got to think about this because let me tell you something. There are some people that I love that I think could benefit from a little prison. Some of y'all got some people y'all love too that's like, you know, I think you'd be better off of the streets. Yes, even though prison needs reform in a lot of ways. Yes. Some people that I love is better in there. So I'm going to say, 
them. Now, now if you're saying someone that you love, like if you're saying like one of my babies go to prison, you know, innocent right now, like that type of thing or me, then I'm going, baby. I'm pack it up, cuff it up. I'm ready for my strip search. I don't care. I'm going to spread it. And I'm going to do it all this time to make sure my babies don't have to go down that road for something they did not do. Y'all are so annoyed with me. You're like, just answer the question. I can't. I got to think about it. I, these are these are, these are are really hard decisions that I have to make here. And this could be life-changing, okay? Sleep with a guard or an inmate. Now, this was my most requested one, okay? Now, but I was asked this a million different ways. Have relations with a guard or an inmate. You know, be intimate with a guard or an inmate. Sleep with, have with all that whole thing, okay? And I would definitely have to say a guard for a multiple different reasons. But what like you guys, it is the drama, the drama with the with the inmates. Plus some of those guards is looking do look good too. Some of those guards is handsome, they smell good and y'all know that story. But if I if I had to choose, I would probably, I would say a guard. COs are rolling their eyes at me right now. They asked me, I didn't I'll volunteer that. I'm just saying, gosh. Okay. Lose a finger or do five years in solitary confinement. Baby, I'm looking at my hands like, do I really need this pinky? I don't, what does this pinky do anyways? I think I can pick everything up without this pinky. This finger got to go. Finger has got to go. Do a, let's stay monetized thing with a guard or go to solitary. Um, I'd rather go to solitary. Like I, if I had to like trade a favor to stay out of, no, mm-mm. I'd rather go to solitary and just go ahead and get my toilet paper ready to go in my ears. Corrupt correctional officer or corrupt judge. Now that's a good one, but I definitely have to go with the corrupt correctional officer because a judge has so much more power than a correctional officer. Yeah, a correctional officer can make your whole entire life miserable while you're in there, whatever, but a judge, baby, can sentence you to life, you know, so... Unlimited food from the outside world or unlimited free phone calls home. I would actually have to go with, y'all are going to be mad at me when I say this. I would have to go with unlimited food from the outside world because, and why do I say that? Because for me personally, and I'm really thinking about this because if you're just not, not just talking about me, maybe for the whole entire place, right? Not everybody has somebody that they can call home to, you know? But, and then if they do, maybe it's not positive, but food, baby, food is always bae. You know what I'm saying? Food is, food is always there for you when you're down. Unlimited food from the outside world. You guys, I mean, food does bring you pleasure too, right? Like food will give you a little bit of pleasure, but maybe you're a person in there or maybe me, like me, the only person that I really called was my grandmother. Like, I'll call her a couple times a month, but I'm be eating good. So I'm gonna say food on that one. Good food or clean water? Clean water, hands down. Not, we don't even gotta explain that one. Be well known or slide under the radar. Now this is a good one, but this depends on how much time I have, okay? If I am doing a little bit like I did three years, a three year sentence is nothing in prison, okay? And a lot of you guys are like, <gasps> Three years. I mean, even Trisha Paytas. Shout out to Trisha Paytas. Her and I. I don't know who that. I don't know who it was on the podcast. Was it her sister? You guys, let me know down below. They were on the podcast and they talked about my channel. And they they're so cute. Trisha's like, could you imagine doing three years? Yes. Like it sounds like a long time, and it is a long time, and it's valuable. But when you're on the other side of the gate, three years is nothing. So if I had three year sentence, I would rather slide under the radar. If I had 20, 30, 40 years, I'd rather be well known because then I would be able to probably get away, get, get stuff, more stuff to make my time easier if I was well known. But other than that, under the radar, baby. Let's just do this three years and go on home. Pick up the soap or spend one week in solitary. Pick up the soap. This, you know... This question could go in so many different directions. What are we really talking about when we say, are we just talking about picking up the soap? Which is nasty enough in itself. If you're just talking about picking up the soap off of the floor, 
Um, I'm going to have to spend a week and, oh man, then I'm going to lose my place in there. I'm going to lose my job. Oh my gosh, why are you making me choose? I'm going to have to pick up the so No, 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 no. I'm going to have to spend a week in solitary just because this is a little fuzzy and I don't, I don't really know what I'll be talking about here, okay? I, I need some more details. <laughs> Would you rather be in the hole or do the whole strip search again? Strip search, humiliating. Busting it wide open, but I would much rather do the strip search again than go to the whole fuss show. I mean, you really do. When you're in prison, you lose a lot of that shyness that you've got. I mean, it's it's gone. Like, you, you see other women in ways that you have never seen other women in ways before. Trust me. I don't care what kind of videos you're watching in your private life. Like, it's, it's a whole new thing in there. Would you rather not have your nails done for a year or only wear prison shoes for five months? The nails got to go. Have you seen the prison shoes? Yeah, not cute. Mm -mm. And not comfortable. Be in the hole again or do another pee test? Now this, you wrong for this one. If you guys did not watch this video right here, you should, okay? It's not just a pee. Like, when I thought about this, I'm like, man... And you know, I could only describe to I could only describe to you guys on here what I was like comfortable saying. It was so much more brutal, really, than that. Like, I still cannot believe that happened. Like, I was pushing so hard. I was sweating, pouring sweat and shaking, and nothing was coming out of the place that I needed it to. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, like who like the things that I am telling you, if, if it could be, if it can be ridiculous and out of this world, it's going to happen to me. I'm telling you, like, ugh. work in a prison or work in a jail, work in a prison for show to the jail. No, thank you. Would you rather spend one year in prison, easy time, money on books, getting lots of visits, you know, never getting beat up, smooth sailing, or one month in prison with every day being the worst. One month in prison with every day being the worst. I'm trying to get it done and get out of there, baby. I don't care how smooth it is. I'm going to tough it out and I need to get out. I can't. I just can't. Y'all are nasty. Some of y'all are real nasty, okay? How dare you? Lick the bottom of your prison shoes or lick the bottom of the prison shower? The shoes. The shoes, it's got to be the shoes. <laughs> Go back to prison for 10 years or give up YouTube. And this is just mean. This is really, really mean for you to even, because, you know, 10 years? Oh, my God. Or give up YouTube. And, like, you guys have literally been, like, a dream come true to me. Like, who even thinks of this? I guess I, I have kids, you guys. I have to I have to put my kids first. I'm gonna have to give up YouTube. <laughs> Lick a prison toilet seat or spend two months in the hole. I'm gonna need you to look at this. What would you do? Let me know down below. What would you do? Two months? I guess I'm going to the hole, you guys. Like, I just... Just imagining, like, licking it, like... Ugh. Been sentenced to life in prison or be executed? Now, this is something I think we've all thought about. What would you rather? Sentence to life or executed? Um, I guess it just really all depends, man. I can't just give a straight answer. Like, my kids, dude. Like, do they need me? Like, am I innocent? Am I guilty? Like, ugh. I guess life. I guess life.
Get in a fight and lose or get sent to law. Get in a fight and lose, baby. I, I ain't afraid to take no butt whooping. A black eye, a busted nose, a busted lip, a busted ego. It's, you know, I ain't afraid to take no butt whooping. Yeah. Come on. Come on, let's get this over with. Yeah. Should I fight back even though I'm going to lose? I need, I've got to fight back, though. I've got to fight back even though I'm going to lose because if not, then I'm going to... They're going to walk all over me. But, uh, yeah, I can lose a fight. It ain't no, ain't nothing wrong with that. Go back to your life before prison or never met your girls in prison. This is, this is really, man, some of you guys, you, you just know mercy. I'm going to have to never met my girls in prison because I can't, you know, my kids. And I always say that. And I think my girls would understand. I think my girls would understand. And I would do the same for them too. So, and this is the last one for today. If you guys want a part two, let me know down below and like the video. If I get, you know, enough of you guys that want it, I will do a part two. I have more of these, but y'all are just ruthless. Okay. Have Jaden in prison or have never had him at all. You guys, to think about that, like, I mean, I can't live my life with, I can't, I can't imagine my life without him, so I'd have to have him in prison, but, but the good thing about that situation, you know, at least I know that he would go to his daddy, but then at the same time, it makes me think about, just like whenever I had Jaden, right, like, I was so afraid that like he wouldn't bond with me. So even if somebody was holding him for too long, I'm like, wait a minute, he needs to bond. I need, he needs to know I'm his mommy or, you know, like, I don't know. I just was, I'd never been a mom before. So I didn't know, like, he needs to know I'm his mommy, right? I mean, I wasn't like jealous of my baby. My father-in-law had him, held him all the time. My mother-in-law stayed with us for a month after we had the baby and helped us. She, her and him, and they were amazing. Although Jaden was always a Pawpaw's boy from the moment that he was born, but that's another story. But like, just thinking about giving my baby away, like the women that do that and in prison and then get out and rebuild and rekindle their relationship it's amazing it's you it's it takes a certain kind of strength that i just i don't know if i have but all right so that is it for the would you rather prison version you guys let me know what you think down below i want to hear your responses to some of these two do not be shy i need to know you guys know i read the comments honey i'm gonna be all up in there like reading them laughing and okay so as always, please do not forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.